David Stearns here for Patriots Hockey. Well, after a losing showcase weekend, practice is a little light this week. Six players out with the flu bug, and uh, Coach is feeling a little ill himself. But uh, recapping what happened this past weekend, game one, Friday morning, Patriots saw the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Junior Knights and took a 7 to nothing loss, so kind of a wake-up call for these guys. And it did wake them right up. They went into the game against the Portland Pirates re ready to go, except a slow start. 4-1 to one they were down at one point, but they came back and made it an interesting hockey game. Cameron Smith notching his first hat-trick as a Potomac Patriot. So that's two players on the squad with hat-tricks this year so far. But despite the effort, they still fell to the Portland Pirates with a score of 5-4. to four. The next day in the afternoon, they played up against the Apple Corps, and Apple Corps, known to be a very tough opponent, took them 1-1 one one until the dying minutes of the second half, and they ended up losing that effort 2-1. to one. So, they're 1-3 in league play right now. The games against Apple Corps and Wilkes-Barre both counted as league play. So, they can even things out, maybe even pull ahead here in this weekend against the Atlanta Knights coming up. So, we'll have to wait and see how this pans out. Atlanta Knights, of course, a very tough opponent and national contenders and four-time champions of the EJHL South consecutively preceding the Hampton Roads Whalers, who, of course, were last year's EJHL South champions. So, Saturday, 7.50 is the start for the game between the Potomac Patriots and the Atlanta Knights. And then Sunday morning, they'll see them again at 11.40. But before we move into that, took a moment to talk with Coach Rick Hildreth about special teams. We noticed an interesting difference between the first weekend and last weekend as far as the power play and penalty kill go. The penalty kill, quite successful in the first couple of games of the season against the East Coast Eagles. And the power play saw some good life against the East Coast Eagles, but a different story this past weekend as the boys allowed four power play goals and a shorthanded goal. So let's hear what Coach Hildreth had to say about special teams. David Stearns joined here with Coach Rick Hildreth. Coach, uh, let's talk special teams, okay? That first weekend, First weekends go, you know, 35% or so on the power play and well over 90% on the penalty kill. And then a different story this past weekend. Why don't we talk about the difference between the two weekends? What did you see out there? Well, we were playing, I think, bigger, older, stronger teams this weekend. And they were jumping on our power play right away in the zone. Uh, they wouldn't give us any time to set up, any time with the puck at all. I think East Coast that first weekend respected us a little bit more. They backed off a little bit once we could control the puck. But this weekend, these teams just were like all over us because they were bigger and stronger and faster. So they, they didn't even want to let us set up. So we spent a lot of time, you know, chasing pucks back to our end. Um, but when we did get our power play going, uh, we, we did get some scoring chances. Um, and it looked okay. Um, it just we need to execute quicker. Now, any go-to guys that you have in your lineup there for special teams, whether it be power play or penalty kill? On, on, well, let's start with the power play. On that side of things, uh, we've seen, of course, Andrew Turgeon light it up. Uh, what other players stand out to you as far as power play players? Well, uh, Cam Smith is doing real well, moving the puck well. Sean Gregory's been good on the power play. Um, and we didn't expect him to be a power play guy, but we gave him a shot in practice, and he just jumped all over it. So we're going with him. He's looking good. Uh, Kevin McDonald, he's on the first unit, moves the puck real well at the point. Um, of course, Turgeon, like you said, uh, you know, he's good on the power play. He had a goal this weekend. Um, so, you know, we, we'd really need, though, uh, for, to have two complete power plays. Both power plays have to score goals, and everybody has to contribute, really. Now, on the penalty kill side of things, do you guys uh, prefer an aggressive approach or more of a controlled system box? don't go outside the perimeter kind of style? Yeah, well, what, we, what we're trying to do is have three sets of penalty killers do three different things so that the power play doesn't really know what we're throwing at them. It's constantly changing depending on who's on the ice. So, you know, that's a work in progress. We're still very early in the season, so we're trying to still at this point figure out who our top penalty killers are going to be. I think we got a couple sets pretty well, pretty well set. Um, Julio and Gregory are set. Uh, Harding and Parker seem to re work really well together. We need still need a third set. We're trying some different guys to get a third set of penalty killers there. Um, and the idea is uh, that they're all three units will be doing three different things. 
Now, when you get into the different numbers, like a, like a five on three or um, a four on three, do you have any particular kind of uh, styles and uh, or players that you look towards to kind of resolve those issues, if you will? Yeah, I mean, just quickness and, and guys that are in, in position that know how to kill a penalty, you know, sticks down in the shooting lanes, starts and stops, you know, know when to be aggressive, when to back off, that kind of thing. Um, and, and we do have guys that, that seem to pick up that uh, very quickly and know what they're doing. And you can spot it right away. And those are the guys we go with. Now, this coming weekend, the Atlanta Knights, uh, what are you expecting? I mean, you, we saw a transition between uh, the first weekend with the East Coast Eagles, and uh, you said you saw bigger and better squads out of the EJ teams that you guys took on this past weekend, and uh, even an AJ team in there as well. This weekend, the Atlanta Knights, they're known to be contenders. Uh, and I mean, granted, four consecutive EJHL South championships in a row, um, preceding Hartford, uh, Ham- Hampton Roads Whalers, I uh, beg your pardon. What do you expect in this coming weekend? I can't, I can't believe they're going to be better than the competition we saw this past weekend, playing Apple Corps and playing Wilkes-Barre. I mean, I, they're probably close to that level, but there's no way they can be better. I mean, because those teams were, that we played last weekend were just loaded. So, you know, we're ready to play that level of competition. We, we got better and better as the weekend went on, and uh, I think that's a perfect lead-in for this weekend coming up against Atlanta. And uh, we, should be, we should be right with them. We're ready to play. We know what it's going to take. Um, so I think we're going to be fine. Health in the locker room. Um, obviously, there's a bit of a flu bug running around, and uh, it has touched the coaching staff. Of course, Coach Ziegler is still recovering from that. But uh, you're, are you expecting a full, healthy bench this coming weekend, or is there anything that we should know? Yeah, uh, Christian Parker has a concussion. He'll be – I'm not sure how long. I don't think he'll be back for a week or two. Um, that's the only injury right now. Um, we have a full squad, squad of 25, so without him, we're 24, so we're still – in good shape um other than that everybody should be ready to go now is the roster set i mean i know you guys uh were talking about toggling some players in and out kind of rounding out the roster as far as uh kind of players on the back end uh and maybe a fourth line kind of guy uh here and there but uh how well set are you guys or are you guys still experimenting with the lineup well we have our ej squad that's, that's down a couple guys we we could in theory send a couple guys down to help them out at any at, at any at the, on the Empire team. Sorry. Um, whether or not RJ is going to do that or not, I'm not sure because you know we can carry 25 and that's what we have right now. Um, so you know I, I think the plan is just to stick with this group of 25. If if the Empire team needs a, a helping hand some weekend, we could send a player or two down there. But I don't think uh, that's I don't think we're planning on doing that. I think it'd be more of a a situation if the Empire team starts to get some injuries and starts to become a little shorthanded, they haven't got as many players as we do, then but we'll keep a full full roster of twenty five for as long as we can, I think. Okay, well good luck this weekend. Thanks. All right, Coach Hildreth. So an interesting perspective from Coach Hildreth. Special teams are a very important part of your system as a hockey club. So long as there's penalties, there are special teams. So we'll have to wait and see how they rebound from last weekend's special teams mishaps and maybe strengthen it up here against the Atlanta Knights. So coming into the weekend against the Atlanta Knights, let's see what some of the players thought about this past weekend and how things look for the weekend ahead. David Stearns joined here with Kevin McDonald. Kevin, you guys had a bit of a rough weekend at the showcase up there in New Jersey. Uh, Why don't you tell us what happened there? Uh, The first game we just kind of came out slow and uh, just let them walk all over us. And we went down uh, quick, like three goals. And uh, into the second period, I think. It was 0-0 for a good bit of time. Actually, no, they scored in the first period. And uh, that's right, right? I think you're right, yeah. My memory is kind of lost there, too, but uh, yeah. Anyways, they got got one, then they got a bunch more, and it just went downhill from there. Were you guys surprised by the size of Wilkes-Barre? Uh, yeah, a little bit. We thought they were going to be one of the, being in the EJ, we thought, or the AJ, we thought they were going to be one of the weaker teams that we played that weekend, but they ended up being one of the strongest. One of the more interesting games, though, was against Portland. Uh, why don't you take us through what happened there? I didn't actually watch the game, like, video. I watched the score sheet updating, and I just couldn't look away because something always was happening. Yeah. So what happened in that game? Uh, they went up, or, yeah, we went up one nothing. And uh, it was close the whole way. It was like back and forth scoring, and uh, it was four to four, about a minute left. Or no, it was we were down three to four to two, 
and uh, we scored two quick ones, and they got one after we got our first quick one and uh, made it 5-3, and then we got one at the very end. But, uh, yeah, we kind of made a simple mistake, and they just scored. And that game against Apple Corps tied all the way to the end, huh? Yeah, and uh, just made a simple mistake again, and they scored in the last minute and won. What do you think about uh, Cameron Smith out there? We can't stop talking about this guy. Everything you see on Cross Ice Feed right now says Cameron Smith all over it. Oh, I think he's going somewhere. He's, he's good. He's great. He's uh, leading the team in goals right now, I think. Maybe not in the league. I think Turgeon has in the league because that one Portland game where he got a hat trick wasn't a uh, league game, but he's going places for sure. Now, uh, I talked with Coach Hildreth about the power play. You seem to be the quarterback for the power play. You guys had an uh, excellent first weekend, yeah. and this past weekend uh, didn't, work so didn't work out so well. Why don't you talk about the difference between the two weekends? I think the first weekend, uh, this the open ice on this Olympic ice was way better, and going to the NHL was a little smaller. It was just hard to adjust, I think, practicing on this, and uh, the difference, I think, got us, and playing against quicker teams, too. So. You guys got a uh, sick locker room right now, six players out. You guys going to be healthy by Saturday? I hope so. All right, well, well just just don't get sick. Yeah. Just don't get sick. Yeah, I'll try not to. All right, well, good luck, and uh, we'll see you on the ice Saturday. All right, thank you. All right, Kevin McDonald for the Potomac Patriots. David Stern's joined here with Dustin Moyer, Mr. Twitter himself. Um, I, I, I love following your tweets, by the way. We're not going to release your uh, Twitter name on here, though. But uh, you did start in that game against Portland. Uh, why don't you take us through that game? It was a tight contest. Uh, that second period was just a, it was a barn burner. Yeah, I mean, they took, they got a, we took a couple dumb penalties. I mean, most of you, my team was looking out for me, though. I mean, can't blame anything on anyone. It's all, it's a team fault, a team loss. And um, we had a little breakdowns, and then we uh, came back. Cameron Smith of 97 got hat trick. I mean, it was a good game, I thought. It was a good test for us. Portland's a good EJ team, so, you know, a good test. Talk a little bit about your game. We haven't talked to you before. Uh, what, what style of goaltending do you uh, kind of infuse into your game? Uh, a little bit of hybrid. I mean, I love to butterfly. I don't really stand up that much unless I need to. It's really much, you know. Butterf or butterfly. Any particular favorite goaltender? Ryan Miller. Ryan Miller. Yep. So we have two Ryan Miller fans yep. on this bench. Can you tell us who Garrett likes? Uh, I have no idea. Okay, good, because I, I, we'll have to ask him ourselves just so maybe we can get the hat trick. So, um, Anyway, this coming weekend, uh, what's the attitude in the locker room right now? Uh, a 7 nothing loss, I mean, obviously it was hard on the shoulders of Garrett. And then, um, you know, a tight 5-4 contest in the end for you on Saturday or um, Friday night, I beg your pardon, and then um, Alex seeing a tight 2-1 to one contest. Uh, what's what's the feeling about goaltending going into this weekend from your perspective and as far as the team in general? I mean, I think it's pretty good. We played some really tough teams up there, and we did a lot better than I thought. So I think we should have a positive attitude. We do have a positive attitude going into the weekend against Play Atlanta. All right, well, good luck this weekend. Thank you. That's Dustin Moyer, goaltender for the Potomac Patriots. David Stearns here with Cameron Smith. Cameron, scoring your first hat trick as a Potomac Patriot, how does it feel? Uh, it feels great. Uh, they're all mostly speed goals. One was uh, me going down the ice, beating 2D to the puck, uh, working it from down low, or deep pinching, keeping it in, uh, effort by our team from goal line up, and I get a deflection in front. So, pretty cool. Well, it was a tight contest in that game. Uh, t take us through it. I mean, I've been getting other players' perspective on what happened in that game. It was uh, tight right down to the finish there. A uh, little bit open in the beginning, but uh, how did that game kind of play out? Because I was just watching a live oh, well, score I sheet. Think, I think after Carr got the dump in from center ice, the other team kind of fell apart. And we took it to them, but uh, they finished out with a win, though. Now, this coming weekend, you have the Atlanta Knights. Uh, which, uh, what's the feeling in the locker room right now? I know a few players are out sick, but uh, how are you guys looking forward? I mean, we're excited to play a good team. I know they have some uh, some guys from last year who put up a lot of points. So, but I'm not intimidated of them. You know, if we get a, we get uh, those good bounces and uh, work hard, we should be able to beat them. Well, like well keep up the good work, and uh, you're keeping it exciting for this uh, yeah. for this team. So, uh, great job out there. Thank you. All right, Cameron Smith for the Potomac Patriots. So, with that being said, we're going to work into our weekend against the Atlanta Knights. Full speed ahead. Two more practices stand between the guys taking on the Knights Saturday night and Sunday morning. Once again, Saturday night, 7.50 game time, and on Sunday, 11.40. So tune in here on CrossIceFeed.com. And also, if you miss any games, you can check them out here on CrossIceFeed.com. Click on the Archive button, and you can catch all the action that you may have missed. So for Patriots Hockey, I'm David Stearns saying, don't stop believing. Don't stop believing.